Hey, what's up? It's Aaron from Here Now Tech. Actually, I shouldn't even say that because maybe. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll just. I was going to upload this video on maybe Youth Nations, but I won't. Youth Nations might be banned, just in case you're wondering. But, anyways, so yeah, here's this. This is my uh, audio interface. Actually, let me bring out my old one. Um, so actually, this isn't my. This isn't mine. This is my brother's. He was lending me it. But this is the old Tascam US 122L. Um, I wanted just to upgrade and get my own, anyways. So I figured if I'm gonna get my own, might as well get the upgraded version. So this is the Tascam US 122MK2. Um, it's a uh, USB 2.0 audio slash MIDI interface. Um, I'm, if I'm talking fast, it's because the camera battery is almost dead. But uh, yeah, so I'll just show you some specs. Um, two in, two out USB 2.0 audio interface, Macintosh and Windows compatible. Um, operates at 96 kilohertz and 24 bit resolution. Two XLR microphone inputs with phantom power. Two TRS line inputs. Uh, high Z guitar input. I don't know what that is for real. Uh, for real. I mean, I don't know. I really don't. Know. Um, one by one MIDI. Whatever. I don't know. Zero, zero latency direct input monitoring. That one uh, had that as well. RCA stereo line input. Headphone output and USB powered. Um, there it is. I uh, don't know if this has any of my information on it. It comes with Cubase LE5, so it's pretty cool. I'll be trying that. Um, it has my name just because I had to order it from, we'll get them to bring it from a different store. But uh, yeah, so let's open this up. Um, this way. So yeah, um, first thing you got greeted is the booklets. This is probably. Yeah, so you got your task game book. Let me open this fast. I think I, oh, I thought I just scared my cat. Um, so you probably got the drivers right here. And then Cubase. That's cool. I'll definitely be trying that. Um, so I'll put that there. Actually, I'll put this here. And then you take this out. Obviously. Um, you got your cord. Which I have lots of these USB. To the uh, that the square USB, and then you got the actual audio interface itself. So let me just throw that over there, throw that over there, unwrap this. So there it is. Actually, this one looks I think smaller than the other one. I think it's smaller than the old style one. Yeah, it is. Um, so yeah, it looks it looks a lot nicer than the old style one. The old the old one has these old like dials, these old looking ones, and it's very like very kind of heavy for like for being how because it's like supposed to be compact. I mean it's it's not that heavy, but it kind of is. So you got that, yeah. Um, but yeah, so this one looks way 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 nicer, much more moderate looking. You got your um, XLR. Yep. So whoops, everything is. Uh, flat doesn't stick out. Uh, you get you still get metal and everything. It's like I said, it's pretty much the same. It's just better specs and stuff. Uh, records at higher sampling rate and stuff. Um, yeah, these are much nicer. So you got your uh, input and computer mono mix uh, being turned mono on or off. You can have a stereo, which of course is what I want to do. Uh, or no monitoring mix. Sorry. Um, then you got your different uh, left and right stereo. Uh, volume or whatever, phantom power, mic and guitar. I um the one of the main reasons why I got this one as well is because I heard it records guitar much better than uh, this one. Like that must be what that high Z guitar input is. But um yeah, so I will try it out and uh, and maybe in a few a couple days or something I will make a video of it and maybe do a comparison to show you the audio comparison between the two. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, sorry for not the really long video, but like I said. Don't really got much else. You got a cord in the DVDs or the CDs. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and give it a like. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.